Konnichiwa, Minasa, Watashi no Amaiwa Yega desu. And we're back on the front. At the time of the recording, it is now officially seven years. October the 23rd, 2019. It has been officially seven years since the first episode of my original Chosokabe campaign. We haven't made as much progress, of course, as I had initially intended, considering we had to restart the game X, Y, and Z. But it's fine. Um, we we did what we could, and you know we're in the position that we're in. But finally, we've broken through the enemy's front line. The Matsudo decided to declare war with us, not realizing we were actually ready to declare war on them. And now we're at the point where we're starting to push further to the east um, and to do whatever. So I, in the previous episode, finished, uh, as, I said, as I said, I fought the naval battle, uh, taking out the uh, no uh, Nishinoima, I think it was, or the Uesugi, it doesn't matter, their ships are shit, um, and sunk them, and I was able to transport my new general, Mr. Kira Masao, or Mr. Yao, as... Uh, I'm beginning to call him affectionately by. Uh, again, have yet to establish any kind of motherfucking title to him, so you never know. But primarily, um, this guy is going to be utilizing a bit of a mix m mismatch army. Now, regrettably, um, it's not my intent. Unfortunately, I just don't have the troops to really give him some proper good units. But he is going to get some of the Katana Ronin and I might give him some of the Chosokabe Bo Samurai as, as much as I want to become a fully-fledged matchlock army, I don't think we can fully escape the bow. It still has a bit of a use to it. But right now, we've got a job to do in East So with uh, Mr. Ka Kuana Kazushige, who has very l for a very long time been sitting inside Shikoku Island, waiting for a time to be loyal and useful. And now here, here, here is his moment. Uh, the army we're going up against is not an easy one. They've got a fuckload of bows, fuckload of spears, and even some famous. Uh, yeah, they've even got some pretty damn good cavalry. Uh, so we're not good. It's not looking too good. But the good news also is he's got Mr. Kira Okisune with his brilliant army, slightly damaged, but that's fine. I've got bows, and he's got men. And I have cannon, so if this works out, life should be good. But this is not an easy, this won't be an easy fight though, I can tell you that for sure. Fortress looks actually quite well defended. See, I can't wait to go. See, I wonder what kind of fortresses we're going to go up against in... Um later on in the campaign. Though that said, the Matsuda, as much as I hate them, as much as um, they're my enemy, I can't help but uh, help but to give them some d degree of respect because the level of fighting we had just to get to this point is ridiculous. Ah, uh, it's one of those places. Okay. Oh, something disconnected. Kasen <laughs> <laughs> have some experience. Yeah, it's pretty much the same battle. I'm just going to quickly check something. I'm still getting audio from this. Yeah? Yeah, we're all good. Oh, really? Motherfucker. Uh, can you even get down from there? You should be able to. Won't be easy, but you should be able to. Alright. Alright. Okay, slightly issues there, but that's okay. So they have matchlock towers and everything. Okay, where's a good place to start shooting? Well, there's their main capture point. Oh, it's this kind of map. Right. Okay. Mm. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Right. Well, obviously, we have ideas on how to deal with that. Uh... It's been a while since I've been on this map, to be honest with you. I was complete, coming in from this angle, it completely threw me. Um, Alright, let's go do the usual routine. We're not going to go near the fucking castle until our, all them dudes are dead. We'll put the two matchlocks in the wings. In case they try it. 
can put the bows behind all of them to try and nullify whatever kind of shit may come in our direction. And of course our glorious leader, Mr. Kazushige. I, ho I expect great things from my generals, especially since the general who betrayed me was the one who I thought was the most loyal. Alright, where are you coming from? You're coming from there. Can you... I don't think they can... I think they can still cross, but we'll have to see. You can make it down, right? Yeah, it looks like you can. Right, Kira Okatsune. Right, the, the, de the depressing factor is the fact that we don't unfortunately have the ability to... Uh, my cannon, who's with them at the moment, is going to take fucking ages to uh, get out. So, we're in the shit here, but that's fine. Um, we'll probably have to do the whole sort of like, wait until they're um, in position sort of thing, where I'll have to cut recording, take my time setting up and destroying all of the defenses, and then... Ooh. I see the Matsuda, this particular garrison, has decided to take the leaf out of the old book. See, this is the difference between the Matsuda and that other, the Tsushima clan, or the Goto clan, is that the other clans actually realize you have to put your garrison troops in the area your enemy can capture. But I'm not making any assaults now. They are, at the moment, not going to do anything. So I could, in theory, do it. But by the time they get in there, it'll be too late. Um, you're all in? No. <laughs> now you're all in. Right, I want you to walk. Sounds bad, but try and get to there as best as you can. Okay, well, whilst that's going on... Cannon! Uh, what do you got? What do you Jumbin Kanjo. Right, you shoot that match... Shoot that matchlock tower. Jumbin Kanjo! What does that mean? I need to... I mean, this also provides my camp with my Kawa Taiho with um, a bit of a decent buff to... My God, look at the difference in experience. One chevron. What? Oh, that's the... Um, that's him with his ability. I see. That's actually a pretty awesome ability. I'll need to remember that. It buffs his stats from about... What? This guy is admittedly 35, but we'll we'll go with uh, about a 30 point increase at least, or nearly 30 point increase when you're on kill zone. If I inspire him, is it even better? Ah, oh, it's too late. But with an inspirational, it adds another bit onto it, so he's probably more 60% accurate, which is actually pretty dope. Yeah, it might look like the enemy is actually for once taking it seriously and deploying his troops in a more appropriate position. Of course these guys are unfortunately gonna take their bloody time, but that's okay. We've got we've got time. I mean arguably we could deploy the army Our on this. Made sure to work ah, on their tower. Arguably we could deploy the cannon in actual fact we could easily deploy the cannon here and get some fucking glorious shots into there. Uh yeah. Why don't we deploy it here? It's got a good field of fire. It'll be out of range of their matchlock towers, and it'll give me kill shots. I think the enemy are for once realizing I have to... Oh my god, guys, you won't believe this, they're actually doing... They're doing a thing! They're doing a tactical thing! They haven't deployed all of their armies, but they've been deploying their most, majority of their armies because they realize... Oh, I'm actually going to go for the capture point! What a shocker! Our weapons made sure to work up their, their tower. tower. <laughs> now, it's a shame I can't deploy my cannon now, because this will be a juicy opportunity to get some very early kills. But let's do some damage. They're given slight cover by those trees, but that's okay. Yep. Why can't I tell them to target this wall? But instead, they target this wall. Which I'm not complaining, to be honest with you, because this is a nice little corner sh chart. Do some nice damage there. Okay, so they're deploying... So before I uh, quit recording, it does look like they're bringing their A game in. Which is good! No, they actually were targeting that. Never mind. 
is Kira Okizune. Huh. Shield thing? Oh, he's already <laughs> one shot and that was it, apparently. Um, yeah, we'll need to deprive these bastards of their ability to shoot, so that's a fact. I have to admit, since starting this campaign with these uh, castle mod, it's been an absolute delight um, seeing these castles. Now, sadly, they're not the big, fancy pants traditional ones that you get in uh, Shogun 2's uh, vanilla game, or uh, some of the ones you get in... I think there was another castle mod uh, that I think was more prevalent in Mr... Master, uh, Mr. Uh, Devil, uh, officially Devon's campaign series on Barbarian Masters, but I kind of like these because it adds, it equalizes the defensibility and offensibility in most of the castles. I wouldn't say it does it for the entirety, but it does do a decent amount. Right, I'm going to target that gatehouse before anything else because obviously we kind of need them to explode. Uh, right, I will also deploy the katana. I will put the katana uh, Runin in a defensively arced position. Question. I mean, your range from there is that, and that's you all the way back there. This one is over here, so that will yeah, more or less cut the field of fire. Right, castle is down, but the gatehouse needs to go a little further. You, you buggered the doors, but that don't count for shit. Gone. Alright, there we go. Alright, well that's going to be it for the time being. What I'm going to do is I'm going to try and set up the other cannon here. Uh, bombard this area a little bit. Remove them, as many troops as possible. And then, once the area is more or less safe to attack, um, I could potentially launch a pincer attack. Uh, oh, there's a Bodojo Samurai. No, oh, not good. Um, way. Um, this will result in me being able to launch a massive attack, which could actually. Yeah, why can't. Why shouldn't I do that that way? Right, you boys, we're coming up with a new plan. Right, get up. Sorry to drag you back this way, but I got a job for you. What are these dudes? Well, I should go to. Okay. But yeah, so what I'll do is I'll focus on um, attacking this area with a cannon. And then hopefully we can knock out these two other points. And then we can start the assault on this area. And if we can reduce their bow archer capacity, that'll be even better. Right, you're going to set up all the way there. The cannon is going to take fucking ages to get here. It's an unfortunate but matter of life, but there you go. It gives my other cannon an opportunity to engage. I just keep wondering what they're going to do with their troops. Because they've, they've got a majority of their garrison now inside the main area. Which, for the very first time, is actually some, a, a legit decent tactic. They've got their samurai retainers um, in the other sections of the walls. So even if I do make my assault, they have to go through here then here, and then finally up to here. But obviously, these guys are uh, quick runners. The only other problem I see is that they've got their Bow Dojo Samurai here as well, which ain't good, I'll be honest with you. I kind of want to keep this position alive so that enemy forces coming up to try and save them will take some shots. Issue is, I'll have to somehow break through the lines here. Ah, fuck. Yeah... Can I risk it? I'll be accurate. And I'll inspire you. Your accuracy goes up to 72. That's pretty accurate. And you're giving it a bash. I mean, obviously, it could just be a matter of... Actually, you know what? Change of mind. We'll go with that. And that's when you tell me you can't shoot. Oh, you are shooting. You finally realize the value of doing your job. Noid. Right, anyway. So, we'll uh, commence with a bombardment. I'll, wrap, I'll rip up a few enemy targets. And I'll see you when I get back.
And we return. And we return to a situation much better than it was before. So after sufficiently raining hell, death, and fire, we've destroyed a majority of the enemy forces inside, nullifying their samurai uh, capacity to quite a small extent, even killing, or mostly killing, their commander, who for some reason is gone invisible. Uh, I'm going to assume that's a glitch. So now, of course, comes the point of no return, where my troops are going to start zerging through. Unfortunately, these guys are a little bit... Unfortunately, I underestimated the actual location of the crossing for them, which kind of sucks. Um, so I'm using what's left of the cannon's ammunition to try and zerg that option. Uh, and the main assault is going to take place through this entrance way here. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's probably going to be here, and the other side is not really going to be able to reinforce in time. But there we go. So, a bit of a lengthy uh, uh, attack, though, I'm not going to lie. Uh, it took a... I have to admit, I'm going to have to have some level of Chosokabe uh, Samurai into, the get into this environment, because the ability to rain a volley fire is just too fucking useful. If it wasn't for the sam if it wasn't for the volley fire capacity mm, capacity, we would not have been able to get in. Alright, the Dojo Samurai are going down. And you two dudes go go kill. What do you mean you can't see that? Target them. Try and get in here as soon as you can. Right. Pincer in. Once these dudes are dead, which they both are, form up and get ready to attack. Get you boys in. Right, try and break a line through each other's side. Right, both of you withdraw out of that area. Try and withdraw out of it. Same goes for you. You're just going to lose troops needlessly. Oi! Get the fuck in there! Right, you lads. Right side, go. Give them slight level of ground. Turn around. Now all charge. See, now you'll be able to actually enjoy fighting these dudes. Ah, that's the problem. Well, actually, no. These guys could come in and provide a flank attack problem. Well, solution. You might be arriving just at the right time. Of course, we'll need to see if that's possible. Also, the fuck are you doing? Come on. Actually, no, but still. Get over there. Go, 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 go. You lot. Russian, Zergen, come on. Zergen, Zergen, One of Zergen. Our units has used all its ammunition, my lord. Oh no. There we go, that's good. You're causing them to get you're causing them to double take, which is the important thing. I'll drive. First dude, engage, so he stops them from shooting, because they're getting free kills on this one. Right, general, roll up. Your time to shine. Right, I tell you to attack the Bow Dojo Samurai, so what do you do? You attack the Ashigaru next to the Bow Dojo Samurai. That's fine, you're blocking them all in, which is the important thing. 
Right, this is a clusterfuck, and I'm not gonna uh, I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. It is an absolute clusterfuck. The good news though is that that rear flank is actually not working as well as you'd hoped. Right, you boys, roll in. It's a little clusterfucky. The more we can reorganize, the more we can have a better chance at striking out and actually not getting trapped in the whole thing. Because the issue at the moment is when it comes to playing, when it comes to taking out settlements, uh they get trapped on the side of the wall. For some reason, it acts like a fucking magnet. And so what happens is your units basically kind of come in piecemeal and it can easily resolve, result in you losing uh, your troops and quite a lot of them if you're not careful. Or worse still, your unit routing. Right, good news is that in about... Actually, fuck it. Roll up, roll up, roll up. It's just a couple of dudes... You go into the flanks. That's how you do it. Bit of a clusterfuck. And these guys are the smart ones. They'll just surrender. That's my other general thing. Fucking room! Mr. Kazushige has successfully done it and given us a lovely little tower. Oi! Fuck in there! No motherfuckers are gonna get in here for sure. the day done. So, a decisive victory. Bit of a long siege in my case, because obviously I uh, spent a lot of it just shooting them. But, again, we've minimised the casualty intake and maximised their death intake. So, I'd say overall we did a good job. But, again, it is unfortunately a, uh, a slight downgrade. Yeah, so we, we deployed more than them and they lost their entire garrison. We did lose a significant amount, but Kazushige has ranked up as a commander, which is lovely. Uh, we will need a commander of sufficient rank in that regard. Um, they're not quite so good. No, they actually are almost pretty. They're pretty strong. They're pretty strong. You know, not too bad. Mr. Kazushige took forever, but he's here still. Uh, right. During ambushes, stay and fight. Come on, when attacking. Wait, oh, that's. That's really dumb. That's a ship thing, isn't it? Why does the commander have this as an option? Like, unless I seriously think it's because of that whole. Um... Hmm. Right, well, first of all, one. Uh, I'll add in during an ambush, and then I'll give him the ability to do wedge attacks. Because then we can have the ability to attack on land and do whatever, and then also get that. So our military research, while it... To be honest with you, our military research is almost completed. Like, I could get she any time I wanted. Uh, which is not a bad shout, but... Um, eh. We don't great. Which means they piss through ammo faster, isn't it? I suppose. And we can <clears throat> technically get epic arc... Oh, God, my voice. Apologies, my... You know that point where you think, Oh, I've had a drink, but I think I'm going to need more. Anyway, Kira Okutsune... One second. <coughs> I'm not getting a cough, God damn it! I need a drink. <clears throat> yes, my voice is being a bit of a dick right now. 
So, you're trapped, unfortunately. You can't do anything, which is a bit of a shame. And we're looking okay for the moment. I mean, the, the castle up ahead isn't going to be that much of a problem, which is lovely. It also acts as a decent uh, defensive point as well. Because after that, we've got only... To push through here. It's a kind of a crossroads, which could be useful, especially in the flanking. But then again, we've got other armies. We've also got to reunite uh, this general here. How are you guys doing? You guys are actually quite chill. Right, you, 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 and you. You know, I'm, I'm going to give you all of the, um, the bow samurai. Right, this settlement is actually quite happy. So I will release these uh, matchlock infantry. So this army is fairly ranged focus at the moment, but I will divvy up the, <clears throat> the armies in a sec. Oh, hello. What's this? Ooh. Oh, okay, one second. And we return. Unfortunately, apologies for any bit of a confusion caused. Um, my voice decided to act like a dickhead, and... Uh, Start making this sort of weird sort of semi... Uh, no. So I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna just get a drink. And fuck you, fucking voice. Piece of shit. Work. Anyway, back to the point. So, with West Suo secured, um, we can now begin recovering Mr. Kuana Ku Kazushige's army. Uh, this is not that Christian. So we will have to put our priest inside the minister. There you go. So this position is actually pretty strong with with the um, with land consolidation quite uh, pr pr well with land consolidation quite present, and also the fact that we've got the ninja house, we probably could move out fairly soon, which is the hope. Uh, I mean, this province I think is already 100% gonna stay. Uh, in fact, I'm gonna I'm gonna put a wager because I got a Metsuke in there. The garrison isn't great, but it is getting a fortress in a second. And we also do have a... We don't have a foot archery range yet. So I will put that in there just for the sake of it. So I will take out this four units. Begin marching them over to... Oh, wow. You can actually make it all the way over there. Right. If I do this... Right. And then the agent pops into him. You get inside. Ooh. You are, like, inches away. If I remove the devastation, which I will do, that'll be fine. And you can make your way... Ah, oh, this is lovely. So, yep, there you go. The, the war continues and the Blitzkrieg goes on. Unfortunately, in your case, you're not really going to get to enjoy too much, are you? But then again, you will get the benefit of at least... Uh, some Naginata Dojo. Let's get some Naginata Dojo inside as well. I mean, this one is probably the better place for you to go to um, after we've taken it, of course. But everyone's waiting for that particular turn, so... The southern attack is going absolutely fantastically, and I'm loving every second of it. But unfortunately, the northern attack is a bit stalled, primarily due to the fact that Motoji Kazami, Tame, Tamishi, Tamihide, and the reinforcement, Okabayashi is just not really moving as much as I'd hoped. It's, um... Yeah. And Matsuda, of course, decided to cower in their little fortress, which I suppose would be a good idea. And if it, when it were, were I not for my commander having a, such a shitty, uh, lo highly damaged force, um, I would have pursued him. But unfortunately, because the region that the Matsuda have uh, not developed, which ironically has actually been their best def invasion defense um, because uh, at least now we can replenish a lot faster. Jeez. Uh, right, you. Uh, yari drill yard. <clears throat> yari drill yard. Yari drill yard. You make me happy because you're a yari drill yard. Right. And also, you two are now more or less fully recovered. Make his way towards Aki. Right. Well, with this army there, and I'll nudge him up as well. I'll probably stop the southern attack at around Namuta. 
uh, just so that way, um, yeah, that should be fine. Okay, so we have around 9,000 troops to there. 1,000. Now that by no means is to indicate that we are going to easily win, because knowing this piece of shit game, it'll probably take about 3,000 of this because reasons. Um, but hey ho, what can you do? That's what I'm saying. The cloud. Bom -ba -da -bom -bom -bom. Now I'm, not, I'm expecting to take some casualties. I'm not going to expect to take none, but they better only lose a couple of dudes. Yeah, that's. Yeah, that that's what I'm talking about. Who got the most kills in that? Oh, <laughs> even the auto resolve. Even the auto. Bo Ronin? What? I don't have any Bo Ronin. I've got Bo. I've got Bo. Um... Yeah, just crappy Bo, but. Oh my God, the Mori. Oh, isn't that? F oh, check that out. I can. Oh, fuck no. The Mori can go fuck themselves. Minister to the settlement. Right. If I'm not mistaken, I almost could. Right. I'm going to go to the other side of these gates so I don't cause a problem. Sabotage the gates. Yay, yay. Right. Ah, balls. Okay. Right, well, position himself there. And you can, like, chill for the time being. Uh, oh well, next time. Next time. Right, we'll have to wait a little bit here before we can do anything else, but rest assured, we are going to try and uh, recuperate whatever kind of losses we have. Uh, I'll roll up with some reinforcements. Mr. Kisser Masiel must uh, be prepared at all times. I could, I mean, this army, that the, the reinforcements that are down south here, I could try and bring them up. We'll try and bring them up. I know I could just get the ships to do that, but... Uh, North Kigo. Is that a invasion ground? Could be. It's better, to sa better safe than sorry. Uh, Chicka go. Yeah, probably do the same. Kills my food supply a bit, but... It also adds extra repression, uh, improves the Bushido arts as well, which is war. You know what? Cancel that. I don't think we need both of these places. They've got adequate defenses. You know? Question. I can build cathedrals now, can I? Yes, I, I've been able to build them for a while. Uh... Oh no, an Usugi fleet. Ah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> oh god. Anyway. So, there goes that problem. So next, next turn, we'll be able to attack Numata. And that's where I'll probably hold off attacking for a time being. Uh, what is this province called? Fuchu. Okay. I can't attack that in the campaign map because that will cause the game to crash, which is a bit of a shame. But as the particular location, as the place is not that well defended anyway, it's not the end of the world. So our objective for this particular campaign as well is to try and uh, nuke the uh, settle. The big goal of the day is to try and grab the town of um, East Iwami from the Matsuda, which is, at the moment we're looking more likely, it's it's looking more and more likely, uh, which is a reassuring factor. Um, the south though, they, it's, it's like a fucking golden path. It is absolutely beautiful. And once the settlement is more or less turned full Christian, um, I could then potentially, I mean we've got resistance to invaders and non-clan religion, which is going to be a problem, but once that becomes less and less of a problem, we can potentially see the end of any kind of issues. I mean, we also have my Matsukes in here. So I could roll up and get troops to guard Garrison Aki whilst we get more of these dudes set up. And then Kira Okitsune could perhaps, um, perhaps kind of sneak behind enemy lines to, to lay siege to East Iwami. 
But we are coming up to the end of the campaigning season, so I don't know. These guys, I, th I fear, may be stuck in their location for a while, but I think Umata needs to be secured at least before anything else happens. And, uh... Probably grabbing Sumo Tournament is also going to be a good idea as well, because it increases the tax. Not that it will help us out in other regards, but then that will probably help as well. Um... That said, grabbing that would be extremely useful. Eight turns, five turns. But we'll get the, that one at least, because I want to improve the a general loyalty. Guarantees it sort of thing. Right. Well, there's nothing really we can do for the moment, so let's uh, save and uh, wait, pretty much. Nothing... Everyone's got land consolidation. It's absolutely lovely. I remember when I was playing through on um, my first campaign. Now, admittedly, I wasn't really com I wasn't really uh, as aware of certain things like land consolidation. Uh, let's see, North Bungo. I am going to turn you into a sword school. Um, I mainly because I was just like uh, huh. I was mainly. Um, Anyway, so yes, um, as I was saying, <clears throat> so let's end the turn. But no, so when the when I was playing through this particular campaign uh, for the first time, um, oh no! Uh, basically, the whole uh, oh no, the forces of Japan, Matsuda are stepping up for a counter attack. Oh, hello, Aki, as uh, is under threat. Um, that's not good. <sighs> right. Okay. Uh, where be you? Oh, great, you ranked. And you can do whatever. Jesuit? Oh, of course, Jesuit. Love Jesuit. There we go. The man can convert faster now. Oh, this is this is where we'll see the real benefit coming out. Pretty soon we'll have uh, agents who are so good at converting provinces, they'll only need to be in there for like a, uh, a turn or two, and everyone will be Christian, and it'll be lovely. Uh, our ninja has been detected, my lord. Ooh, West Nagato. Good, good, good. Um, what do we need from this place? I am going to build, I'd say, let's build a Saki den, just so we can build our people out and get the fortress up and running. Right. Let's say we are due for one more turn of peace before, yeah, one more turn before everyone's ready to go. Um, you three hop into this guy's army. Uh, you guys are more or less garrison duty now, but this would be a good opportunity to grab East Nagato, considering... So what kind of army is this? Oh, they have a general! They have a general. Right, sabotage the army. Please work. Yes! Right, so here's the, here's the, here's the bully level of difficulty here. So despite the army being within reinforcements range, it shouldn't... He can't take part. <laughs> dumba dumba dum. <laughs> hey Matsura, where's your castle? Nicht it. <laughs> and he has to run away and take casualties. <laughs> oh, hello, Motaru. Yeah, you're, that's the extent of your advance at the moment, mate. Everything else is... Uh, right, we can burn that. Around. That'll be the extent of your advance. Um, 
Okay, you guys are still kind of too damaged for me to really go for it. You kind of are good. Kind of, but not really. Um, and as I said, you'll be fine in like a turn or two. I've got a shitload of reinforcements for you, but yeah, it's not really working out as much as I'd hoped. Um, I mean, the garrison we've got to go up against is quite a strong one. We've got Naginata, Mo Master, Proving Grounds, this is not good, and uh, all of that, and it's a castle. So, we're up against quite a large amount of people here, and the Matsuda looks like they're finally coming up for a counterattack, which is quite a devastating one, I'll be frank. Uh, Matsuda, how are we doing? Christianity is looking absolutely blazing in there, which is fan Dabidoska. So, who Nikaido? Nikaido. Why is the Nikaido unable to trade with me? It's because they lost a port. That's why. Who are they at war with? Nambu and Oura. Okay, well, they're not. <laughs> These guys ain't so friendly as well. Also, I probably should do this at some point. How are we looking? Oh, we are actually getting Clan Fane. It's not going up as much as I thought, but considering the fact... Obscure. Uh, sure. <laughs> the Emperor doesn't really know about us, but sure. Right, yeah. This is the dangerous side of overextending on the south. We've got a big lip of territory that is no longer uh, there. That said, once we've taken that territory, I can put... Um, we'll, look, we'll, we'll send Tamihide to launch the assault on East Nagato. Then we'll put Motochika... Um, to attack West Iwami, and then once uh, once that's taken, Kiramisao can um, defend uh, East I West Iwami, and then Motochika can push towards uh, East Iwami. Whereupon then we've got a very solid defensive front line, because though admittedly I fear the Noto Hatakeyama will maybe declare war on us. I, ra I would rather that they would declare war on us and not bring their friends in, because the Saito at the moment... While we are stronger and probably more capable of defending ourselves, they got a fucking huge navy! Like, have you seen the size of their frickin' navy? Yes, maybe a majority of it is uh, boring, um, like, traditionalist ships. But even my Nanban ships would actually struggle with all those dudes. It's like Germany in, in, in Kursk. You know, the Tiger and the Panther tanks were quite adequate vehicles, but when Russia just spams the T-34 at you, even though that's not a tactic, it still works. Unfortunately, as much as I regret to inform you. Spam does work when you have the numbers for it, but it will cost them fucking dearly, I can assure you of that. Um, truth be told, I would love to have an all-out duke-off with the Saito fleet to assure, uh, to, um, assure m naval dominance in the region. You know, actually a good point as well. If I am going to start duking it out with the um, the enemy navies, I'd have to bring all of my fleets to bear. So that would mean I'd have to bring this fleet, I'd have to bring this fleet, this fleet. I'm fairly certain I've got another fleet somewhere else that is just as adequately as large. Like, one, two, three fleets. Mostly built out of Nanban trades or whatever, which, to be honest with you, now I probably could start building up more of them. And remember, guys, I'm limiting myself to a certain amount. Right, question. Let's do a... Recruitment. What can I recruit? I could recruit the Seal ships, but I need Red Sea Company for that. Ah. And I can't recruit that. Because I don't have the ability to recruit that. Because some douchebag thought it would be a good idea to recruit somewhere else. <laughs> Guessing it's the same here. But I can't build this thing anymore because I need the Red Sea ship. Red Seal ship. I need Red Seal company. Build it. Required building, not present. Shit. Guessing it's because if I was here and I got Red Seal company, yeah. Oh well, I'm never going to use that. I need a Knanban trade port then. Oh. <laughs> I want. I want so badly, but I have to balance. I have to balance because it's such a good idea. But that doesn't mean I can't buy shitloads of Nanban trade ships. 
there's probably a limit to them as well, but fuck it, I'm going to give it a damn good go. Uh, this one has eight cannon. We could do with an oh, attack a bune. Oh, attack a bune. Okay, yeah. That one has ten cannon. That has eight. Ironically, the range of... Well, the range of the... Uh, that takes one less turn, and in comparison, is not as expensive to recruit. But difference is, it is a Namban trade ship, and it is, like, one of the rarer vessels we can use, so... I mean, I'm gonna use it. The only sad point is we can only recruit one at a time. We can't have, like, three at the same time, because that would be amazing! Right. I am going to hit the spam with this option, because I feel that I kind of... Can I recruit... No, I, I just don't have the numbers. Right, so, yeah. Once we get all three of these vessels built up, we should be able to launch a major attack, hopefully to the east. And I'm going to try and build up a bit more of a fleet naval presence, because if I am going to go after the Noto Hatakayama uh, and go after the Saito at some point, I will need to nuke that fleet. So if I'm already ready with a fleet of shitloads of... Um... So in, like, this fleet's case, if I have at least three... Um, or four Namban trade ships with the Raketenwerfer Kobayawa. Um, because this fleet's good. It's got itself a good thing. I might trade there or Atakabune to head to, uh, this fleet. So we get rid of the Wako Medium Bune and maybe remove the Dondobas, uh, Seki Bunes. Um, I mean, the Dondobas Seki Bunes have actually proven to be quite useful, but I also am acutely aware that they are not the best. Um... Also, we probably could do with some... Right, you've got a Morio Takapone, haven't you? Yes. Uh, what would work for you? What would be a good thing for you? I mean, the Cannon Bune, I'm eternally curious about. We could build a couple more of them. Ooh, we can. Oh, We'll have to see. We could... Yeah, we could build up more fleets. Right, we'll hold for the time being, but we could do this. This is something that could be done, and I think should be done, but for the time being, we must prepare ourselves. Um, I'll recruit some Naginata Ronin on the safe side, so I can transfer them up towards Kire Masayao. Um, anyway, let's turn up. I think we're coming up towards the end of the episode anyway, or if it's an early one. I know it's going to be one of those sort of... Um, question. Can you defend yourself? Adequately, I'd say. Adequately. Um, I mean, this guy, do oh, this guy does have... Right, okay, so the question is, this guy's only got a fort. We haven't really got the ability to construct anything else, because I've kind of stopped myself from doing that. Under the circle... Ooh, this guy's got a very archer-based army. This is very good for attacking, like, siege-wise. We don't have nearly as much, but we do have more melee troops than he does. Like, this guy is 90%. He's even got matchlocks. The big problem, once again, is he's got fire projecting mangadels. If we... We have to attack him. I have an idea. You're good at assassinations, aren't you? Yes. Right, you. We kill this army. Will it work? If we kill the general, I will attack. If we don't, well, I'll still have to attack, but... Yes! Fuck yes. Right, that's awesome. He's gone. Now the, the army has no general. Now let's push. Okay, so they've got Yadi Cavalry. Our army is more melee focused, so we're going to have to be way more aggressive. But if we can break their lines, I think we can do it. We'll just have to zap them of their strength before they can zap us of ours. I swear to God, the Mangadel is one of the most annoying fucking things ever. But, yeah. If they didn't have that, I'd feel... I'd still probably be aggressive, but I'd feel a lot more confident, because they'd have to come up to us, which means we'd have to waste their energy running. We could shoot them with a, the cannon and the mortars... And then, um, well, they're trapped. Fucking hell. 
The size of the fucking mountain that's behind them. Ooh. I'm trying to figure out where the hell we are. Oh, there's our castle. So they are... Ah, yes. There's, there's the road that allowed... Yeah, okay. I'm, I'm a little bit more aware of where we are. But still, that's... You know, in the grand scheme of things, this is not a wide country. I mean, this could be an inaccuracy because of the game and whatever. But, you know. Right. A disadvantage in this regard is that we are having to deploy our cannon to the left-hand side of the army. Which means we're probably going to have to focus our army defenses-wise. On the right hand side anyway. Matchlocks will go here. You guys will come through the center. Because you're hidden. Uh, I'll deploy my general to the left hand side. Along with whatever infantry I've got. And we'll keep a few infantry of the Naginata kind. Here. Yeah, but the rest of them. Actually this position gives me a much better uh, way to attack. You motherfuckers. Take cover in the forest. Not that it'll do much, but still. Fucking mortars. Uh, fucking trebuchets. We have to try and nab them. You target their general. Sneak up and catch a lot of them off their guard. Surprise! You boys, rush down the hill. Rush down the hill, go. Hold firm. Regroup. We have to the left. Envelop. You guys scare the living shit out of them. Good fucking job. Right, these dudes are going to suffer a little bit, but that's fine. We gotta eliminate the pockets of resistance. Mortars, concentrate fire on these dudes. Oh, what are you doing? We are going to lose troops. I know that. Right, you guys, move to the right, provide support. You dudes. The oh, mother. Fucker, I'm gonna have your ass for that. Envelop, envelop, envelop. They're routing good. Have those bastards. Spread yourselves out a little bit. Loose formationing. Loose formation. Cannon, fucking finish that prick off. Push through, push through. 
Oi, where are you going? Fuck back here. You charge it. My lord, a glorious victory will soon be yours. You're not getting my shit. Right, don't let those fuckers escape. Majority uh, samurai bow or bow army. Uh, Defo needs to go. Bye bye. Good shit, good shit. Yeah, this battle was a bit of a clusterfuck, I'm not gonna deny. Uh, I don't think these guys are gonna be, I think those guys are gonna get away. Oh, where do you think you're going? Yeah, you're gone, you're gone, you're gone. I want to say, good job to my inf my cannon. They didn't do a lot, but they kept the infantry down. Matchlocks MVP, obviously. Uh, they they held the line. Like, don't get me wrong. My melee infantry did a fantastic job. Do not let them get away. You're not getting away with this douchebag. You're not getting out of this battle. Oh, lol, my guys are out the battlefield. <laughs> yes! I saw my master like, Fuck you! Slash him into his health. That's awesome. That's fucking awesome. Love it. Right. Make your way back over to... Wherever you can, I'll be honest with you. I don't really think we'll be able to... Ooh. You two. Love that option. I love the sound as well. The only thing that's like... The only sound effect in this game that sounds even more awesome in terms of unit abilities is Gambate from the Fall of the Samurai. Because he's it's, it's like, Gambate! And every time my brain just sort of goes, Dun 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 Count how many times in this entire series I do this. If you do, I'll give you a special treat. And I'm being serious. If you seriously count all the times I use this ability. I'll buy you a game. There you go. Game of your own choice. Right, let's make sure these bastards don't get out of the battlefield without suffering a heavy dose of casualties. Right. Now, if memory serves correctly, by doing this, all the dudes who've got nearby, they're fucked. Men with discrimination. Hmm, that's quite wise. Oh my god, we just won that one. So the counter-offensive that was launched by the Matsuda has once again been defeated. And the forces of the... Oh, get you boys even more. In about one t yeah, one fucking turn. GG. So we're definitely... So we're able to defend ourselves adequately and I think that'll be where we will end our little episode. So thank you all very much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed it and in the next episode we will try and ensure uh, a northerly expansion hopefully by this point my army has more or less recovered i think we're still a due a turn or two out of uh, that but regardless we're going to try and do what we can also with the naval forces that we've got we may have to seriously consider the fact that the saito will be a threat and that the largest naval battle of all time uh, could be fought 
Uh, and it could definitely be a bloody one. I guarantee you we'll sink a fuckload more of their ships than there of ours. No, not because of um, them. And, you know, not just because my dudes have gunpowder, but just there's fewer of them. This will be Kursk, but hopefully it'll be Kursk in a good way. Um, where we win instead of lose, like historically. Anyway, I hope to see you in the next one, guys. This is Mr. Jaeger, signing out.